Hello my beautiful souls. This is your Twin Flame Soulmate reading. Welcome if you're new. Thank you to all my subscribers and viewers, everyone who is supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. And um, also I wanted to remind you of my giveaways coming up they're gonna start this week so if you haven't subscribed um, or hit that notification button please make sure to do so so you can participate in that also I apologize that this is um, a little late I really needed to recharge and my guides really um, knock me out this over the weekend so um, I apologize that this is late but I am recharged, so that's a good thing. Um, a few things. So energy update is there is an, um, an energy shift or a wave coming up, and it is going to be on the 7th, okay, of this month, which is this week. Um, when is that? Wednesday, okay? So some of you might have already felt this, um, or already have started to feel this last week. I know I have. So there's a few things. Um, crown chakra activations. Um, so you'll feel it in your head. And you'll feel like the creepy crawlies um, around your, you know, head area. To those who are feeling it on one side or the other, it's because <clears throat> there is this needed balance coming in of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies okay so this is about balance um and i've said this before we know that 2019 is about you know divine feminine stepping into her power her his power and really um shifting paradigms okay so this is all about paradigm shifting this year so if you feel Okay, so it depends on what side you feel it on. If you feel um, more activation, like more, um, I, I don't know how everybody gets it. I get it more in a creepy crawly sense. It feels like, how should I explain it? I, I'm sure you guys know what creepy crawly means. Like something is like crawling, um, like a spider's crawling on you. That's what it kind of feels like. That's the best way I can explain it. So if you're feeling that more on one side, it's because that side is um, being activated within you, those energies, and that has to do with the divine feminine and the divine masculine, okay? So masculine energies are on the right, and feminine energies are on the left. So if you're feeling it more on the right, that means you need healing on um, on with your divine masculine okay energies if it's on the left then you need healing with divine feminine energies and um i mean i could give you guys examples but we're gonna go on and on so if you don't know about the energies you can watch my video i did make a video in regards to the feminine and the masculine energies and it's on my channel okay so make sure to watch that if you are confused about what they are and you will get an idea of it, okay? I mean, an idea about it. Um, the other thing is that time is going to be, um, you're gonna feel like time is moving so fast forward, like there's not enough time in the day um, to do things, okay? That's another thing. Um, also, for my females watching, you might get your um, menstrual, your menstrual cycle is gonna be off, okay? And other things, you are going to have prophetic dreams, okay? Prophetic dreams and, um, yeah, they're talking, your guides are really with you. To those who do not um, communicate with their guides, they are waiting for you to communicate with them. So just be open to communicating with them and your guides, um, really want to help you is what they're telling me they support you okay with your journey so they're there to help you so just reach out um they will answer back in like so many different ways okay i promise um so divine feminines i'm gonna start off with 
how what energies um, we're dealing with okay so there's a sense of disappointment um, with a lot of divine feminines and it's because they do not see how how this union is gonna come together okay so this is about knowing that you have the key okay but I mean, not knowing that you have the key. Like, not knowing you can manifest this the way you want it. Okay? And this has, for some of you, this has to do with you closing off your heart, okay, to those who still have anger and resentment and disappointment when it comes to um, this union, okay, with the divine masculines. So... If you are in those energies still, you got to release that, okay? You got to forgive because here's the thing. You can't go from, you know, those lower energies of anger and disappointment and depression and um, like low vibes. You know when you're so, you, you're in those vibes that you, you don't even want to get out of bed, that's what I'm talking about. If you're in those energies, of course you're not going to see it happening. You're not going to see it manifesting. And um, so what I'm trying to say is you can't manifest in those low vibrations. And, you know, actually, okay, yeah. I'm going to make a video about this when it comes to the, the vibration. Um, I'm going to write that down real quick because then I'll forget. So there's a scale to when it comes to vibration. So I'm going to make a video about that. So what I'm saying is when you're at the lowest of the lows, and I'm talking about when you don't want to come out of bed, when you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do anything, you just want to sulk in bed, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Um, you can't manifest at that, that level, okay? So um, I'm going to make a video about that. So I feel like for some of you, you're at that, level where you don't want to do anything and all you're doing is thinking about masculine what they're doing what they're up to what they're going through um, and it's really hurting you okay and I want to tell you something you don't be so hard on yourself okay if you're in those vibrations you need to feel that okay I don't want you there forever don't get me wrong that's not what I'm saying I don't want you to stay there for a long time but don't be so hard on yourself judging yourself why am I still here why do I still feel this way um, you know I should have been healed by now don't put a time um, a time stamp on when you're supposed to be healed okay healing is always taking place no matter what everybody's on a different path different journey okay so don't be so hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself. And don't put time frames on when you're supposed to be like up and ready. Um, because that is further blocking you. Okay, so that is a block. It, and it's an attachment because you're attached to time. So release that attachment to time. And the other thing that I'm getting is that some of you have this picture in your head of how you're going to reunite with the masculine okay you're picturing it which is great because visualization is awesome okay but you're being disappointed when it's not coming out like that like let's say this this is about adjacent possibilities so this is like your guides your higher self is like okay we see that you're trying to manifest this in a certain way but trust us because we know what's best for you. We know what's in your highest and best. So it's beautiful that you bo you, you're you visualizing it. You're picturing you two together in a certain way. Okay, it's awesome. But it might not um, pan out that way is what I'm getting. So if you are in communication with the masculine and what the feedback you're getting from them is like, um, disappoint you're disappointed because you're like oh my god he's still he or she is still stuck they're not awake 
what do you, what is going on? Like, if I'm getting all this help, why don't I see it? You know, um, so things don't work out exactly the way you want them to, and it's because there's so much involved, right? We know that the masculine is closing out karmic cycles, so everybody's on their path, you know, on their certain path. They have certain weaknesses, they have certain strengths. So let's not judge the masculine, okay? If you're in communication and you're not getting the communication you want, you feel like the masculine is still in lower energies, um, you're like, oh, he, he hasn't changed or she hasn't changed. This, there's no way this is going to work out. The, am I just making this up? This Maybe this is not even my twin. You know what I mean? If you're in those doubtful energies, it's because um, there's a bigger plan, okay? So your guides, your higher self has a bigger plan. Um, and it might not turn out the way you want it to. And I'm talking about specific details. I'm not talking about you not being with the masculine. Okay? So have patience in this journey and release that codependent energy. Okay? Um, the other thing I'm getting is that my feminines, this is heavy. And this was heavy on masculine's mind too. And I think that was it was the reading before last. And it has to do with stability, finances, okay? So you are overthinking finances. Um, some of you are releasing paradigms of how finances should be, how you feel safe, how um, in a like a partner structure, like you and your um, significant other, how you're going to sort out finances. And this could be on your mind when it comes to masculine. So... You, we are shifting paradigms and it has to do a lot with, you know, the divine mass, the divine feminine stepping into their power. Okay. And knowing that they don't need anyone being independent financially and not depending on anyone else to help. Okay. And this is major shifting going on because we all know that in the past, it's been like, for example, when it comes to like heterosexual couples, the the male, um, you know, makes the living as the breadwinner or whatnot, and the female is you know home taking care of the kids or a housewife. Okay, so we are shifting that paradigm. So this is no longer that. This is you, divine feminine, rising into power, into independence. Knowing how to take care of yourself, not needing anyone to help you. Okay, so that's coming up strong. And the other thing that is, is that because we're closing karmic cycles, okay, there is this, there's something, um, okay, yeah, this also has to do with, um, divine feminines releasing releasing deceit okay releasing those energies that um that is making you paranoid okay um it is being healed okay it is being healed if you're working on this releasing those energies it is healing for some of you you're just getting so frustrated because you still have that coming up you still have those doubts you still have those paranoias of Okay, um, they lied to me before. Why would they lie to me again? They cheated on me. Why would they, you know, be loyal to me? Things like that um, keep coming up. And these are emotional triggers that have to be transmute, transmuted. Okay, so don't be so hard on yourself. You know, um, a lot of you are experience, experiencing anxiety due to this. Um, sleepless nights, you can't sleep. And the way that's coming is going to change your sleep patterns. If you're already feeling this this past week, um, I know my guides have been knocking me out. Like, I'm knocking out, like, just, <laughs> just laying down while I'm meditating. I'm just, like, totally knocked out. And I don't even know. I have the lights on, got music on, and I'm just knocking out. So if you're feeling that, um, it's because you need it. Okay, so 
And the other thing I want to let you know is you can heal in your sleep. So you can ask your guides to help you heal in your sleep. If you don't feel comfortable with getting into that zone of meditation, um, if you feel like you, you can't get into that zone because you can't shut the mind off, then you can ask your guides, you know, help me heal this, you know, um, while I'm sleeping. Okay, and they will. So make sure you do that. Set the intention, ask them, and they will. Okay, um, but what they want me to tell you is that you are making progress. Um, and if it's slow progress, it's all because, you know, that's how... Um, Things happen. Things do not happen overnight, okay? So it's not like you get this this shift and there's like a, one day you wake up and there's like a major breakthrough. It does not happen like that. And I hope you guys know, and I don't want to I don't want this to sound negative, but everything takes work, everything takes time. There's so many energies involved um that shift to things. So it is blossoming, okay? Your abundance is blossoming. You are shifting. It might be slower than you anticipated, but don't be hard on it. And I know a lot of you guys feel like giving up, but it's not about that. It's not giving up in the physical, okay? It's about energetically um, surrendering this, okay? Surrendering this outcome to your, you know, to your guides, to who's helping you, because this, this journey is being supported, you, you all, you're not alone on this, right, the, the twin flame journey is being supported, you're always supported, okay, so surrendering that outcome, the details, the time, you know, what the masculine is doing right now okay and this is about you stepping into your power and knowing how to manifest this this is about you raising your vibration okay creating manifesting um and you got your angels of love with you they're with you helping you on this journey And what I'm getting is they're always there when you're crying too. And they're there when you're mad too. They're there when you're cursing too. And they want to let you know that they're not judging you. They love you regardless. Even when you're mad, even when you're angry. Even when you want to give up. Okay? So I'm going to go into the... Um, the masculine energies, what are my masculines going through right now? For some of you, the masculines are still drinking is what I'm getting. They're trying to numb out their feelings. Um, also, um, some of them are using drugs. It's all an escape mechanism. We got the tower. So, I'm getting two different um, messages with this. For some, it's a breakthrough. It's a positive breakthrough. For some, this has to do with emotional outbursts, okay? When it comes to their environment, when it comes to them leaving an environment, Um, there's a group that is going to get some information for the masculines and they're just going to like really blow up like um, something very shocking that's going to really throw them off. Throw off um, their belief structure. Um, throw off who they trust in or what situation they have been trusting in for such a long time. Um, for some, this has to do with their stability. So I feel like 
Um, this is the King of Pentacles. Um, there is some sort of something that, that is um, challenging their stability or that has they've been betrayed in something that has to do with finances, okay? And they're going to realize this. Some have are still blind to this is what I'm getting. Blind, okay? If they've been, been, you been, I can't talk, being used for money for a long time and they just, they just don't, they're in denial or they don't see it or they don't expect, um, accept it, something shocking okay they're gonna get some information or they're gonna wake up wake up to how they've been betrayed all this time okay um yeah shocking shocking information it's gonna be shocking for them you might know divine feminine but they don't this is a group of you okay because we all know that twin flames there's different groups um Yeah, I'm getting that. Yep. They're waking up to the betrayal. Okay. So they have been betrayed. They're waking up to the lies. In their environment, this could be home environment. For a lot, I'm getting home environment. Okay. Um, for some, I'm getting work environment. For the work environment one, I'm getting somebody is like, somebody has been deceiving them to get an upper hand um, in the work environment. So yeah, there's a real threat. They feel a real threat when it comes to now, after they wake up, a real threat to their security, okay? Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about. The upper hand right there. Um, ego driven. This is some information they're getting. Some communication. Some um, encounter. That they they're, they have been betrayed all this time. So it, it is shocking to them. They're in those energies right now. Of feeling betrayed. Yep. To their stability. For a lot, this is the home environment. So whatever environment they are at home. Wow. I'm getting a lot of them feel really, really threatened by this. Yeah, and this also could do with somebody that they're working with. Um, it could even do be home environment. So it could be like they were working with somebody on their stability on a project. It could also be. Um, and now they know that they are. Um, somebody screwed them over. Okay, big time. And a lot of them have been blind to this. Okay, so... Yeah, and this really threatened their abundance, okay? This is the Empress. So this really, really is threatening their abundance. This is major for some. And now they're realizing through this that this person um, t basically took so much from them that they could have had this life of abundance, but now they're not there. Or they can't be there. Like they're at the lower end now. It's like feeling like um, what I'm seeing is like the rug being pulled under them. Okay. Um, and that's why they're so conflicted. Oh, wow. Okay. This is totally, um, this is totally confusing them. They're so conflicted right now. Yeah. Their emotions are all over the place. Okay, you guys, their emotions are all over the place. 
they're so confused that this happened. Um, some of them, this totally disrupted their plans that they had, especially with you. This totally, like, it's like, for some of them, they were imagining um, a certain outcome of finances, you know, to uh, reunite with you, like, to be ready to reunite with you. And this kind of just, like, came in and pulled that picture completely out of their mind. And now that they're, they're confused... Um, they're conflicted in their mind which way to go with this. It's very shocking to them. Okay. And they, some of them I'm getting like, they do not have the drive anymore because of this. They feel like they're just so sick of their life. Um, they don't have the strength to carry on like what now what am I supposed to do now like that's what I'm getting what am I supposed to do now um and that's why their emotions are they're keeping their emotions to them they're not expressing this if you're in communication with a masculine they are trying to numb their feelings out and some, that's why, yeah, that keeps coming up. They're drinking or they're doing drugs for some, not all. But that's their escape mechanism to numb themselves out because they got screwed over. And they are in fear mode. They don't know how else to release these energies of betrayal. So, uh, feminine, think about the time when if you were, you know, betrayed or lied to um, or cheated on by the masculine. Do you remember that time? Or you might be going through that right now. Um, how you're in fear mode. You don't know what to do. So, that's their mechanism of um, is closing off, okay? Closing off. Yeah, that's man. so sad. <sighs> okay, so what some of them are thinking is that this is justice because I betrayed to those, okay, I'm speaking about, I betrayed my feminine, now I'm getting what I, um, what I put in, so it's coming back to me now, I betrayed them, and now this is what happened, I got betrayed, I got screwed over, and while I was waiting for stability, This, this, I'm going to take this in reverse. I lost, I had a financial loss. That's why I'm not getting it. Because I, I betrayed my feminine. That's what they're thinking. Yep. Ten of swords. And what they're thinking is, they, I can't get worse than this. Yeah. I manifested this. That's what they're saying. I manifested this. I screwed over my feminine, and now I got screwed over. They know this. And let's see. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So to those who um, 
my divine feminines, you did not get an apology from divine masculine, okay? So after this betrayal to that group that, you know, is of masculines that experienced this, that got betrayed, got screwed over, are realizing I did this to the feminine and now I'm getting my, um, I'm getting my karma back. Karma's a bitch. That's what somebody said. Um, they are planning, okay? They're making a decision now because of that to come in and apologize to you. They want to apologize to you. They're realizing now, for some of them, they did not realize how bad they hurt you, okay, feminines? But now they want to come back with an apology because they knew, they know that this is judgment. So, what was that? What is that? They know they um, reaped what they sowed is what I'm getting. Okay. So, and they feel like the only way to make this right is to apologize is what I'm getting. They need to come and apologize to you for those who did not apologize or they got like, you know, what we call that half ass apology. Like when somebody apologizes, but you know, like they're just saying it just because that's what you want to hear is what I'm getting or not in a um, compassionate way. Okay, so this is for you guys um, if you've experienced that. And they know now that the reason why this all got messed up is because they were not being honest with you. There is no honesty. And now the thing was, you know how in the, I think it was the last reading, this is coming up again, where the divine masculine shifts their environment, um, their lifestyle, right? To start living this honest lifestyle. That's what they need to do. So what they're doing is releasing conditioning. And this has to do with belief patterns, right? Um, there's a lot of divine masculines who grew up thinking that um, they have to lie to get what they want. And they lie so much that it's habitual, okay? They have to lie to get what they want from um, partners. They have to lie what, you know, to get what they want from um, employers, co-workers, friends, whoever. There's so much lying. Family. There's so much lying going on because they've been hiding their true self. That's how insecure they are. They are not proud of who they are. They do not love themselves and therefore they've been lying all this time and they're realizing that. They're realizing that lo they're looking around at their relationships and realizing, hey, I haven't been honest all this time. So that's why I'm getting screwed over. And you know, for some I have to say, because you know, I'm a straight shooter, for a lot that has been working out for them to get them what they want. But it's not their truth. And it's not real. Because if you get what you want by lying, it's like, it's not even truth. You guys understand what I mean? So it has worked out for them for a while. But now they know that they haven't really gotten anything that has been, um, what's, what's the word? Um, substantial thing. Okay. Like for example, I want to give you all example. If they got some sort of finances, okay. Um, through like, um, manipulative means through, um, dishonest ways, uh, through like fraud or something illegal. Okay. They are losing that money or they are not getting the rewards that that money brought them. Okay, so they could have either 
spend it on penny things. Um, they could have lost it. They could have um, spent it on alcohol, spend it on drugs, spend it on like pleasures. Um, they could have gotten used with that money now. You understand what I mean, you guys? So there's a different scenarios that are going on. <clears throat> and now they're releasing their, their behavior pattern of being dishonest. That is healing. They are realizing that this is the Hierophant, by the way, this one. Um, they are realizing that they need to live a truthful life, a life of honesty, because the life of lying has not served them. Their highest. They're realizing that now. And by realizing that, they realize that also because this has really, um, because of not being honest, there was conflicts with their wishes coming through. And how selfish they were. It's like they're asking them, did I really get my wishes? No, I did not. Because now I'm at the bottom and that's how I started. I'm back at the bottom. Rock bottom. Okay? So this has to do with them. Transforming into living the honest lifestyle changing their lifestyle up, no longer lying to get what they want. They realize that. And they are so sorry about, like, I'm getting that, okay? They are so sorry about lying to you. Now they know what it feels like when people lie to them because they got betrayed, okay? Whoa. Oh, wow. I'm getting, like... I got the tower twice, you guys. Um, the Divine Masculine is really going through challenging times. Yeah, they're very unbalanced. Um, they're feeling unbalanced. Uh, I'm getting anxious too. Okay, so betrayed. They're trying to escape from this betrayal. But at the same time, they are growing because they're realizing what they did was karma. Like karma came and bit them. You know where. Okay, so they're realizing this and they're trying to look at it in a higher perspective um i mean they are but at the same time they're trying to balance out what they're experiencing in the physical so um they are trying to balance out all the stuff that's going on um whether it be like okay they gotta pick back up their lives and start fresh again start new what are they going to do? Um, some lost a job. Some lost a business. Some lost a lot of money. What are they going to do now for their finances? They feel really unbalanced. And um, they feel really, it's very challenging for them. So they're trying to overcome these challenges in the physical. Okay. Um, this is the tower. This is like, yeah. Sudden events. Turnarounds. They thought it was smooth sailing and something came and knocked them out. Knocked them out. Okay. Um, it's some of them are wishing something comes and just like pulls them out. What I'm getting is the abyss. Like they feel like they're in the abyss. Um, pull them out of the abyss. So waiting for that. That's something that's going to come in fast and just pull them out of it. Um, I'm going to clarify this. What does this mean? Oh, these are too many cards. Okay. 
Wow. Okay, so um, so what you don't know, you guys, is um, they're really confused about their emotions. There is so much love that they have. They're confused about it. And the reason why they're confused about it or to take any action is because they are trying to release these this burden. For some of them, okay, this has happened some time back, okay? This is not happening now for all of them. But they're, they've been in these energies trying to release this for such a long time for some of them. And some are still stuck in that, okay? Um, because they can't, they're not, they can't, oh, what's the word? They can't leave, they can't take control and lead it. They don't see it another way. They can't be the king of um, wands who's like this visionary leader that is like creative. Okay, like is the problem solved. All right, like this is what it is. Let's, let's change it. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like details. They're not problem solvers. Okay. They can't see any other way of getting out of their mess. They're using their old paradigms, their old conditioning um, that they might have been using ever since childhood to solve their problems. And some of them are like, okay, I can't do this anymore. But they don't have, like, they're stuck. They're at a crossroads. They don't know how to get out and shift the way they think. Some of them are so hard-headed is what I'm getting that they're a creature of habit. They don't want to change the way they do things because change for them is very scary. Okay? That's what I'm getting. This has to do, yeah, this, a lot of this is like fixed signs. Fixed signs are like this. They don't want to change the way they do things. They're comfortable. They're in their comfort zone. They can't see any other way out. They can't imagine anything else. So, and this has to do with their higher self, them not listening to their higher self. Okay? The higher self is communicating with them, trying to help them, but they are not listening because they're, they don't know how to take that step to move out. Okay. And this is what I'm getting, Divine Feminines. If you are in communication with Divine Masculine, and I'm not telling you all to like go out and say, you know, like what I'm just, just about to say, but there's this, this feeling of, you being an example of, um, being an example to the divine masculine, okay? You shifting, moving into a higher vibration, and that therefore them seeing you as the example to do this. You changing your life, you transforming your life, you releasing all those old behavior patterns that has is not serving you, okay? So you are the example. And you, bo you both share a higher self, okay? So you could be listening to your higher self and therefore transforming while the masculine is not really listening, okay? Um, and because they have all this stuff going on, some of them are not listening. So that's why they're still stuck in releasing these burdens, Okay, and this has to do with them being stable, with them being um, balanced, okay? Them having a stable foundation because if you are not stable, Divine Feminines, and then the masculine is, is not stable, how can you guys make this work? You can't. You need balance. And this also has to do with the wave that's coming that I was speaking about is, is they keep telling me to mention that is about um, you both balancing out the feminine and the masculine energies, okay? You finding the equilibrium is what I'm getting, equilibrium, okay? For, um, so you can be ready to reunite, okay? And when I'm going back to what I just said about you being the example, okay, that really helps the masculine. 
because you're holding a space. Okay, feminine, you are the one who woke up before masculine, right? You're the one who's, it's very rare that the, the masculine is, um, wakes up earlier or is um, more spiritually advanced is what I want to say. And I'm not saying that in a judgmental way. What I'm saying is the feminine usually is the one that is more spiritual, okay? Um, starts to live that spiritual lifestyle before the masculine. So you are the example, okay? The Divine Masculine is having trouble sleeping. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I'm still getting drinking. Yeah, they're very conflicted. Um... Okay, so yeah, they're they're having trouble sleeping, okay? And they feel like they're not in control of their life because whoever took that away from them, they feel like that's the person in control and they're trying to get out of that. They're trying to make that right. That's why they're so conflicted. I'm still getting conflicted and also very depressed, drinking. Now, this does not have to be all of the masculines, okay? But a large group of them are drinking. So you'll know if that resonates with you because you'll know how your masculine is. I know my masculine is drinking. Um, and also um, hiding their emotions, realizing that the way they've been express not expressing their emotions or keeping their emotions at bay um, is not working out for them either. So this has to do with mostly uh, not being honest in the past. So knowing that they got to be honest, trying to release those that conditioning, and also the conditioning of uh, keeping their emotions inside. Like they have deep emotions, you guys. And they are like hard on the surface for a large group of you. They're hard on the surface. Um, and what they say they don't mean is what I'm getting. What they show is not what they mean. What they show is not what's inside of them. Because their, feel their feelings run deep for you. But they're not showing that. Whether you are in communication or not doesn't matter. And at the same time, what the they want you to know is... The Four of Wands, this is what they want with you. This is this is the happiness that they want with you. This is the stability that they want from you. But it looks so far away from them now. Just like how for some of you feminines, it looks far away from you too, right? Because of things you're going through in your life. Because of the healing that needs to take place. Because you are closing up karmic cycles. You are rele releasing things, pain from childhood, okay? Releasing conditioning from childhood. And for some, I want to tell you, if you're in communication with the Divine Masculine and you're just not seeing them change, it's not because that they're not changing. Um, you're disappointed because you think that they're at the same place they were last year, for example. Um, for a long time, you're like, oh, he hasn't changed. She hasn't changed. She's still the same. She's not waking up. He's not waking up still asleep, I'm so sick of this, when, is, when are they going to wake the heck up? Like, there's so many feelings going on, and it's like, don't judge them, okay? Because um, when you judge someone else, you're judging yourself, and then you're going to be hard on yourself, just how you're being hard on the masculine right now. And that's not a good feeling, because when you judge yourself, you're going to be stuck in the same energies you are. You're not going to rise. You're not going to raise your vibration, okay? You're going to stay stuck there. You don't want that, right? 
So let's release judgment and realize that um, I'm going to pull some healing cards. I want to know what's coming in from the angels. Yeah, a lot of you need rest. You, both, Some of you are really losing sleep. Your sleep patterns are off, okay? Um, yeah, exactly what I just said. This is cute. <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I don't know why I pull cards. All right, um, so rest and meditation is needed. For some of you, um, you're thinking of getting away, going away, um, just like on your own and resting and meditating and doing some kind of a um, like R&R. &R. So that is really needed for some of you. Um, you deserve it is what I'm getting. You deserve this, so do it, you guys. Um, the other thing I'm getting is what I just pointed out about us judging others and not accepting how things are right now. So same thing goes for you and yourself, but the only way you can help that is you not judging the masculine, okay? Um that's when you won't be so hard on yourself and your healing and your journey. Um, not, you know, saying, oh, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not making any progress. I'm in the same rut, whatnot. Um, this is what they're telling me. They're all supporting you. Your guides are supporting you. Um, and you are listening. You are getting the messages for new love, okay? A new type of union, a new strong, stable foundation, okay? Okay. And there is abundance coming in. Um, you have to surrender and release the outcome, though. Release the attachment, okay? Surrender and release the outcome. If you don't know how to, simply take a deep breath, close your eyes while you meditate, put it on Source's altar, God's altar, whatever you believe in. Give it to your guides. Give it to your angels. Okay, surrender this. And some of you are not taking care of your body. Um, some are experiencing um, allergies when it comes to food. So pay attention to what you're eating. Like um, what you're eating that is causing some sort of allergic reaction is what I'm getting, you guys. And some need to stretch out their body. They're not stretching out and they're getting joint pain is what I'm getting. Some type of joint pain, okay? So make sure you stretch every day before you get out of bed. I mean, not before. Like, you can do it before. You can do it in bed, but in the morning first thing, okay? All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. And thank you so much to all the comments that I got last week about In Your Eyes video. Um, I really appreciate it. It's so beautiful to read all your, your comments and what you experience. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And many, many blessings to you. Bye.